Patrick now joins us on the phone. Kevin, welcome to the program, and great to have you, man. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, great to be in town. I haven't been here in a couple of years, and uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to this evening <laughs> yeah it should be a lot of fun it's been pumped up quite a bit we're going to televise it tonight which should be a lot of fun uh it'll be the greatest one hand touch broadcast on <laughs> BYU TV in history <laughs> yeah yeah you're exactly right uh, yeah the last thing i want to do is uh be running and pull a hamstring or anything out there so. yeah look just it's all, all we ask kevin is you do a lot of stretching before that's really it's really what we ask and look and you said that you haven't been back in a while so we actually before we even get into the game kind of want to catch up what, what are you doing these days where do you live all that good stuff what's the family situation sure so uh yeah i'm in huntington beach uh california um i just uh just had a son he's 10 months old uh unfortunately he couldn't make it. he's a little sick but uh yeah man life is good these days uh, uh i'm in the um hospitality business so we're, we do a lot of um window treatments for um uh, Holiday Inns and the Marriotts. So, yeah, keep them busy. Very nice. That's awesome, man. Um, I, I was showing everyone the Kevin Federick jersey I got in high school. My uh, high school basketball coach is Robbie Wasco's brother, John. So, actually, it was an auction, and I bought it. Uh, so, I've still got it from the Motor City Bowl, although it's pretty clean. Uh, so, maybe I'll have to have you re-sign that. It's a signed one tonight. Would that be all right? Yeah, no problem. I'd gladly sign that. That'd be <laughs> sign awesome. That jersey for you. And then we're holding uh, the jersey you'll use tonight, uh, the Royal jersey. So we're going to give it all the good karma we've got. They actually, on the Royals, gave it the, uh, as we saw yesterday with Chad Lewis, kind of this, this old, the old block uh, Y with the black uh, The black outline, shadowing. The trim. It's, yeah. kinda, it's pretty cool, man. Oh, really? Oh, great. Yeah, no, I have not seen the, uh, the uniforms yet. Uh, we have a whole... Uh, uh, deal going starting at 12 o'clock meeting with the big boss Kalani and then uh, I, we're going to actually have a practice believe it or not and then uh, <laughs> and then watch then watch the the real players practice for an hour and a half and then go over to uh, Lavelle uh, Edwards Stadium and, and hopefully put on a good show what was your reaction when they brought this up to you I was like, oh, my gosh, I better start training quickly. Uh, <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been throwing a football in about a year. Or so, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm just trying to go out there. Uh, obviously, I got a very good team behind me. They're, they'll get open. I just got to hopefully hit them, and uh, they'll make the plays. Do you feel obligated to get anybody the ball tonight specifically? <laughs> Well, obviously the old school guy definitely want to get Chad, Chad and Atula a couple passes for sure. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, I talked to Margin Hooks. I guess he's not coming in town. I was looking forward to throwing him a couple passes. But and then Aaron and then uh, you know Aklani. Hopefully he. You know, hopefully uh, we can run a draw and no one tackles them and get, get a touchdown. <laughs> That's what we were thinking. At some point, okay. this is BYU. A draw is going to happen tonight for sure. Right? Also, Kevin, we, we did a, uh, a BYU alumni uh, fantasy football draft, and you literally mentioned <laughs> just everybody that I picked. You mentioned Chad Lewis. You mentioned uh, Roderick. You mentioned Kalani. I'm really going to mm-hmm. need you to come through for me tonight, Kevin. No problem. I, they need to come through for me. I'm just going to get them the ball and hopefully they can make it happen. <laughs> is, there, nice. is there anybody that's going to be needy that you're going to ignore? Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> uh, like if Rob know, Morris they, wants they, to play on offense, do you have to get him yeah, the ball? Exactly. He's probably in my ear trying to get him a, a, a pass or something like that. But, yeah, I, I got to talk to Rob. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully he stays on defense. Are you hoping Chris Hale just shows up in the end zone randomly tonight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one of the greatest passes I'll never forget. Actually, absolutely hitting uh, hit him on that uh, play against uh, Washington, uh, 1999. That was but yeah. If, if he's playing, that's fantastic. We need some speed. So that would be good. I don't think he is, but it'd be fun if he just showed up for you right at the end there. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. What is that would be fantastic. what is the memory that you hold on to? Is is there a specific play or a specific game that for you is the one you always go back to? Uh, you know, probably that uh, those first two uh, games that we got to be you know on the spotlight on ESPN on Thursday Night Football back to back my senior year, uh, the first uh, I guess when the Mountain West Conference for the first couple games of the Mountain West Conference, and we played Washington on Thursday, and then we played Colorado State. On Thursday, those are uh, you know everyone's watching games on Thursday night, so that was 
those are and fortunately we we did well we we won big and uh kind of got everything rolling that year it was great that was that was an underrated year i think people forget and i wanted to ask you about this um because you're eight and one the only loss to virginia in a shootout thomas jones was incredible in that game um luke's young freshman luke staley was doing things it was awesome um you're eight and one you're ranked 15th going into wyoming and then, unfortunately, uh, it was the last Wyoming, Utah, and Marshall. That team was pretty good, and and I don't think we talk about '99 enough. Maybe. No, you're right. Yeah, exactly. We went to uh, Wyoming, and uh, uh, we had everything against us there. The flight, the flight uh, flying in was delayed. When we got in town, we had to stay at a truck stop. Um, we couldn't even get a regular hotel. We were literally in a truck stop because there was a big trial. Uh, going on in the town and all the hotels were are taken and so we're at a truck stop trying to get ready to play you know a pretty big game where i think we were ranked 11 or 12th in the nation there and uh yeah they get they got us they got us good and then obviously the next week we we lost to utah and kind of and then the bowl game so yeah it was kind of a a, bit, a bitter end, ending to my senior uh senior season but again i mean it was it, overall it was a, a fantastic year well, Kevin, we uh, look forward to tonight. It should be a lot of fun. Should be uh, serious at times, but mostly just easy. Who knows who takes it too seriously? But it's going to be fun to watch tonight, and we'll make sure we get you this jersey. Okay, no problem. I'd gladly sign it for you. Okay, Kevin Federick uh, joining us on BYU Sports Nation.